Hello and welcome to my channel Being You Now. Thank you so, so much for being here with me today. Today I am doing a reading for the Aries Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And I'm working with the Chakra Mindset deck. So Balance and Oracle cards. I really, really love this deck. It's uh, created by um, Aussies. So three Aussie women, two Aussies that have come up with the meanings and um, also the designer. The cards are just gorgeous. I can't wait to share that with you. Um, the reason why I was guided to work with this is because we had the um, super moon this week on the 3rd of July. There have been lots of planetary changes, retrograde, you know, Neptune. There is also Mars, Mercury, Venus. Venus is retrograding later this month. Um, there's things happening with Aries and um, as well with all the planetary alignments. If you haven't checked it out, there's go into the communities tab. I post a lot of information about astrology, about moon and all these other things, if that's something that's of interest to you. But there's also a lot of other fun stuff. If you're new to my world, welcome. I do Aries readings daily. And if you'd like to connect with me on Instagram, TikTok, donate to my channel, book a private reading. All the information is in the description box. Yes, private readings are open again. I had a few requests and um, even prior to that, I was um, I took more than a month off doing private readings. So I'm very, very pleased that energetically I feel I'm ready to open it up again. Um, this is all energy and I'm, yeah, I'm just very much about energy. So that is why if I feel like I've had enough and I need to take a pause and a break, I will. And um, that's what I did. So here we are. So the first card we have here is Grounded. Look at the beautiful beauty of this card. I just want you to tune into it. There are I'm going to read what this card says in the book because there's also an activation that will be helpful for you. So I want to share that with you. So notice if you're feeling like you are grounded and connected to Mother Earth. I feel like somebody needs to ground their energy. Take some time to go out into nature and connect. Take a walk in nature and let yourself feel the power and magnificence that can only be felt in natural surroundings. Breathe in fresh air and give thanks to Mother Earth for nurturing and supporting you. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart and feel your feet connected to Earth. Imagine beautiful strong roots connecting you to the Earth. Continue to breathe gently and notice the connections shimmer and deepen, bringing you a sense of stability and grounding. Lack of grounding in your life may lead you to feel lightheaded and disconnected. The lack of connection can have an impact on your physical body and well-being. It is time to spread your roots and allow yourself to feel grounded. Your mantra, so this is your mantra as just take an inhalation, focus your energy and attention to the card if you're looking. Um, don't do this if you're driving, of course and just feel the energy and say, I let the energy of Mother, Mother Earth flow through me. I'm grounded and strong. So this is your affirmation and your mantra. And additional meanings is, it is essential for you to spend time in nature. You're one with Mother Earth. You are flighty and dis you may be flighty or disconnected. You are grounded. So claim that you are grounded. Claim it, put it in comments. If this is what you need, state it in comments. I am grounded. Now, let me also know in comments if this type of reading is something you enjoy. I meditate, I work with what is happening for the collective and the strongest energy and that's how I, I'm led to do my readings. If you knew, that's how I do it. So number 10 could be of significance. So the next card we have is spirituality. Look at how gorgeous that is. Such a beautiful card. I love the illustration of these cards. So let, let's see what is the meaning of spirituality. That is card number 52. So number 52 could be of significance for somebody here. Spirituality is a personal journey of discovery, like hundreds of tiny pieces of glitter. Ooh, glitter. I love glitter. Your spirituality shimmers, entices, and inspires you. This card comes as a sign to encourage you to continue your journey of spiritual exploration and growth. You have been drawn to explore the bigger picture and the role that you play in it. You may have been distant to explore your spirituality fully due to the belief system of those around you. Know that to find your sense of spirituality does not mean you need to discard or devalue the beliefs of others. It simply means you're ready 
for your own journey of discovery and that it may or may not be fully aligned with those of the people around you. True spirituality is non-judgmental, peaceful and loving. Spiritual beings live harmoniously alongside one another without the need to control, condemn or convert others. You are a brilliant sparkle of light. Finding your way in life, self-discovery and expansion is the key to embracing and discovering your genuine true self. Oh my goodness, I love this card so much. It's speaking volumes and volumes and volumes when I started my journey. So your mantra, it is time for me to embrace my spirituality. Additional meanings, the world is in your hands, Aries. Manifestation. Overly focus on the physical. Continue to develop your spirituality. You are on the right path. So take what message resonates. But your mantra is, it is time to embrace my spirituality. I will just share this very quickly with you. Um, when I started my spiritual journey, my family, they did not understand Reiki. They did not understand tarot cards or tarot. They thought I was in some form of cult. They thought that I was doing witchcraft and black magic. In fact, my mother bless her heart she's still alive bless her heart and soul she really wanted me to come out of whatever this was and years later my dad has passed but um when my dad was going through prostate cancer i was giving we were connecting and working with cards and i was giving him energy healing which really helped to relax him um he's no longer on this earthly plane but i know that he's always there with me he was my best friend anyway i'm just sharing a little bit about my spiritual journey you know i've had so much back and forth and around and about and um there was a point in time where i just did not tell my family anything about my spiritual journey because they simply did not understand and they thought um you know and this is what this card sums up that it is not about other people's journey and their perception because their perception is not your life so whoever needs to hear it i'm sending you so much love this is why i started my channel because we need community we need support we need each other so claim it claim it be part of it be active you know um, and take what you need because there is so much love and support available to you sometimes we don't realize and that's what i learned in my own journey that my family was just one part of my support system but that did not mean that that's the only part it's like work you know you might be working with other people you might not be in your family business so it's the same thing we have different needs we are humans and um anyway i just felt like someone needed to hear this because some you know i when i was going through my growth and evolution i wish someone told me that then i felt so alone i felt lost i felt like i was the only one going through all this but as i became more and more open to things like social media you know i connected I met my 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 spiritual family I connected with them more on Facebook you know and then that's how I started my business and my community it all started on Facebook now I'm more on Instagram YouTube and um, TikTok because I love sharing message I love connecting with people through the, those mediums so Facebook is still there but I'm more active on these platforms you know so it's just where you are and where your people your people will find you if you are leading and if you're looking for community, you will find them. It's about what gives you joy. You will find your people, places, experiences. You will always be led. That's how universe works. Anyway. And then the final card we have is listen to. So as you start to speak your truth, you realize that others stop and pay attention to what it is you have to say. At first, you may feel uncomfortable, but this card encourages you to remain true to yourself, Aries. Push past any feelings of self-doubt and inadequacy. At times you may feel that you are not worth listening to or perhaps you feel underqualified or you may lack confidence to share what you would like to convey. Now is the time to put self-doubt aside. Stand tall, speak up and share your dream stories and guidance. You have so much to say that others others need to hear. Also take the time to reflect on what or on if you're truly listening to those around you. Are you giving them the full attention and support that you desire? So your mantra, take a deep inhale, exhale, and as you meditate, looking into the card, I let go of limiting beliefs that keep me silent and small. I let go of the limiting beliefs that keep me silent and small. 
Additional meanings, you are a good communicator, your words flow freely, you can express yourself, you are not being listened to, change the way you're communicating with others to ensure you are heard. The other mantra you can say to yourself is you are heard, claim it, claim it. Isn't it interesting? I did not, like, I'm reading, I was talking about all the same things in the spirituality card that has come up into the listen to card. It's just universe just affirming the same things i'm going to pick tea leaves i'm guided to work with tea leaves today so we'll go with that but this is the thing it's about claiming your truth speaking your truth shining shining i also see you when the more you speak your truth the more you're going to shine the more you're going to connect with soul aligned people you know your community that's how you're going to build i mean four months ago i didn't have a channel here we are Four months later, I have a channel and I have all of you to be thankful for. Like every single day you say to me, you are, you know, watching this from Japan, from Sri Lanka, from South Africa, from Canada, from different parts of US, whether it's Texas, it's New York, you know, um, Virginia or Los Angeles, like wherever you are tuning in from. It's just like Houston. I just I'm like, oh, my goodness, this is so epic on New Zealand, you know. So I love, I love this. And this is all available for you is what I want to say. Maybe you are thinking of starting a YouTube channel. Listen to could also mean you want to speak your truth or start a podcast. Speak your truth. You know, maybe you don't want to do video. So take what resonates. All right. So tea leaves. What do we have for Aries? The victory card has popped up. I can see it clearly. Someone needs to hear that. Okay. Oh my goodness. Like seriously, some of the cards. So this lot fell first. So I'm going, so dark man dealings, dealings a relationship with a man with a dark complexion or hair. Could be you, could be someone you working with Valley deep personal strength and peace that assures success that's what spirituality sp spirituality is all about that's what this whole journey is about but that's what life is about I involvement with the law could be that's what how you feel not being listened to could be younger man dealings a relationship with a younger man you could be a younger man or you might be dealing with a younger man and we've got angel i love this card spiritual guidance protection from harm you are protected aries you are protected claim it claim it claim it this is victory victory in some endeavor so if you i really feel if you are questioning or thinking about your spiritual journey or whether you you're being listened to there are people that need your message they need they are waiting to connect with you. I mean, the biggest thing I would say from my own experience in this channel, I wish I started this channel earlier. I mean, I have been doing reading. I used, I started my business by accident very quickly, this story, and then I will end this video, I promise. I started my business by accident in 2017 and 18, for those of you that don't know my story. Um, and let me know in comments if you are interested as well. Basically, I was doing readings and healings for free on Facebook and I have helped thousands and tens of thousands of people. And my accountant said to me back then that you have such an expensive hobby. You need to shut this thing down because, you know, I was spending all this time, energy, equipment. I bought all the things, you know, cards, everything, 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 everything. And I was doing it all for free at my own time expense, you know, whatever I needed. Um, and then it came to a point where it wasn't from a place of service. I was doing disservice to myself. And that's when I started charging for what I'm doing. Long story short, I, what I'm doing now on YouTube, I was doing on Facebook essentially. So, um, yeah. And I'm like, I should have started YouTube back then. Can you imagine 2017, how many years of YouTube that would have been, that would have been so amazing, but it is what it is. You know, I listen to my inner guidance, I continue to grow evolve and um, as a human and as I grow and evolve my needs grow and evolve my creativity grows and evolves my maturity grows and evolves and here we are 
we are on the channel and I'm absolutely loving this. I love connecting with you all. I love hearing where you're from, love hearing your stories and how much these readings resonate and help you. So thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all your love, your support, your donations. Like truly, you know, I, I'm, I'm creating my own family, this whole family. You're all part of it. And it is just so beautiful and magical and you can have all of this and more. So thank you for being here. Thank you for all your like subscribes. Please do hit the like subscribe button or hide, give, put a heart or something in the comments. You know, help me with the algorithms. Let's spread this love. Let's spread this message because we all are in it to help each other. So thank you for being here and I will see you next time.